Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, I like the philosophy where basically it's like if there's something you don't like, then uh, do something about it instead of just complaining. And here is an example where I kind of follow that uh, advice myself. All right, so I said that I do not like this uh, sheath for the pistol bayonet. So uh, let me show you what. Uh, what I did folks and uh, here it is okay so you can see that it's functioning right now what this is is basically you know in the mail you get the the junk mail where they're sending you credit card offers so I got two of those credit cards flimsier the better in my opinion so I got them put two together and stapled it one two three four staples and uh, I kinda like that it's clear you can actually see uh, the blade inside you know, I did see some people use this uh, new clear Kydex type sheath, and uh, I thought that was really, really cool. You know, I do like the orange and the really cool colors that Gavco is using and stuff, but recently I did see the clear ones, and I thought that was really cool as well. So this kind of reminds me of that. And I punched a hole right here, okay, so that I could put in this uh, the dog tag necklace in there. And basically, like I said, it's just two of these put together. It's real easy to pull out and uh, real easy to to put it back in as well. Okay, it's not you know like super high quality. Obviously, this is just a makeshift sheath. You could do this probably with a lot of your uh, medium to small knives for sure. I, I'm not even sure. Maybe medium might be pushing it. It's going to have to be on your smaller knives. But uh, I think you're going to find that it works pretty well, especially just for storing. If you're actually going to carry this as a neck knife, then maybe uh, what I could recommend is you get uh, one of those really strong magnets and you could super glue it on here. And uh, you could also duct tape it to make it extra, extra strong. And I think that that'll be enough, actually. If you have a really strong magnet right there, and I think that would really, really help uh, with the blade. And, you know, in this case, the handle's kind of large. So, you know, it's, it's going to um, perhaps cause a little bit of swing there to, to make it fall out easier. So if your handle's not like this, then it's going to work even better. 